Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the next creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it's always very important for you to get the updates whenever we upload a new video. What are we looking at? We are going to look at the frequently asked questions about security guards in Qatar. And one of the, the questions that is being frequently asked is how much is a security guard paid in Qatar? I think I've almost most of the time talked about how much is a security guard paid in Qatar, but definitely it cannot stop me for people who have come to the channel for the first time. I definitely need to know. Something that you need to know with the payment of security guards in Qatar, it will depend actually, uh, there are a lot of factors that are going to depend. And one of the factors is just going to depend on your experience, how much experience you have in the Gulf. If you've been in the Gulf for quite a long period of time, then you definitely know that you'll have a little bit of higher payment. Also, sometimes, also something that we need not to underestimate, we look at the gender, we look at the male and the female. Sometimes you find that the, the male are paid more, more salary compared to the female because the male definitely sometimes tend to work more hours compared to the female. Uh, female and definitely you find they have, they have more pay that we can see then sometimes we also we, we definitely can't mention we talk about the position that you're holding that company depending on what kind of position you're holding if you're a supervisor if you're a team leader your patroning supervisor also it's going to determine so much how much you're going to earn in that company as a security guard then definitely you will also depend on the project what kind of project you are working for uh, the, those projects what we call the government projects they are those projects where they are under individual projects they are projects like you're going to work in a hotel and security guard so definitely all those kind of projects will also matter or will also define how much you are going to be paid and all this that we are talking about it will be some time depending on either your basic salary or your over time salary that will come your way depending on your capital project but when we look at what the government gazetted or according to the government gazetion uh, regarding the basic wages or the basic salary in Qatar is that a guard that is supposed to be earning every security guard or domestic worker or cleaner the minimum basic or the minimum the basic salary the minimum amount of money the person is supposed to earn is supposed to be 1000 kataria that is after working for eight hours you are Sub, not supposed to earn below that amount of money. That is according to the government gazette that was released on March 2021, where it was officiated that that could be the basic salary. And still on top of that, what you need to understand is that they will give you what you call a food token, a food token of what you call the food allowance. It's called a token, and it may, it's an equivalent of 300 katarial, depending on whether the company provides for you food or the company does not provide for you food. That is a true scenario. If the company provides for you food, then they will not give you that token, meaning that after eight hours of duty, you are entitled to basic salary of 1,000, which is pretty not a bad idea, which is not a bad deal in one way or the other then when we look at uh, the total amount to what you are supposed to sign at the end of the day then we look at have you taken your day off there are some companies that do not give you day off and they will definitely count the whole total sum of it all and then those companies that will give you day off and definitely after giving you day off they will subtract that day off you get so meaning that you are also going to be a light or you're going to get a different amount of money in one way or the other so definitely that will give the changes will give the violations uh, the violations uh, within the changes the salary that's being leave, uh, received then something on top of what you call the overtime or the total amount of monthly salary that you'll be getting at the end of the month it will depend on working on particular projects that you're working for some are working what you call government projects and there is actually an amount of money that should be paid to everyone who works in that project then also those that are working private projects depend on definitely well how you are going to be located or where you are going to work in sometimes so you find that yourself that uh, apart from the basic salary then definitely you have to earn that amount of money which is also going to include what you call your overtime in one word and something that still we need to understand that when you look at accommodation much is much as it is gazetted by the government to be paid accommodation allowance most of the security guards companies here in Qatar they do give accommodation to their guards and definitely 
that is something that they tentatively tend to do uh, because they always want to keep people in one or in one area so they will give you accommodation they definitely also they will give you what we call transportation so you find that they are only catering for your basic salary over time time they know also they are catering for your food allowance in case they are not given to you and something still i have to let you know that in case that company has to give you uh, a food a food provide food for you then it has to be three meals a day that is lunch uh, that is breakfast lunch and dinner which has to be served to you and this one must contain all the food values according to the the ministry of labor uh, to Ministry of labor and that is definitely what you need to know hope i've tried to share up something for you Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget head state to put a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Uh, definitely, I'll be able to get back to you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next next video. It's makes from the next creation.